No new flavors. Where are they? Oh, like, okay, if the tag wasn't cute enough. These are the flex leggings. They're like the gray ones I have that are like two-toned, but they're black and gray. Don't worry, I'll try these on for you guys. Oh, this color. I'm so obsessed with this color. I really want the long sleeve in this, but... I just had to have the tank top. So it looks like, I just, the color is like just the cutest thing ever. So it's got the Gymshark logo back there, but it's also got the one up front. And I love that like when stuff doesn't have a tag and it just has the one on the inside. Cause like, first of all, no one likes tags at all, let alone in their workout clothes. They just have everything figured out, Gymshark does. Like down to the, packaging like everything just feels just so quality oh. and this is a little crop top that I got and the back is sheer oh my god I'm about to die showing you guys you guys this is literally like the cutest gym outfit that I own so I actually don't the only black leggings I own other than these are lululemon ones but these are so much more comfortable they say Gymshark around the waistband, and then this says Gymshark, like you can kind of see it in like a leathery material. Oh my God. I feel like you can't even get like a full idea of what this looks like. The back is mesh. I just have on a Lululemon like sports bra underneath because this is like, this isn't a sports bra, it's a crop top. But, oh my God. I'm literally like just totally in love with this outfit, with the Gymshark in general. Um, I'll show you the other one in a second. I've just reached the level of like genuine obsession. So this tank top, I'll just show you in this mirror right here. Um, usually tank tops are like super duper long on me, but this one literally fits perfectly. Like I can kind of just like scrunch it up a little bit at the side or I could tie it in the back if I wanted to, but I really don't need to. And that's so rare for me. Um, and I don't know if you could tell in the last clip, but these leggings have two tones, so they're lighter, um, like in most of them, and then they have that accentuating darker, um, darker pattern to them, like my gray ones do. I am seriously obsessed with this color, like the video isn't even doing it justice. I think this might be like the most flattering color on me that I've ever seen in my entire life, especially when my hair is blonde, like how, Beautiful is this color. Like, I just cannot handle it. If you haven't ordered anything from Gymshark, I suggest that you do. Um, I ordered a few things because they have free shipping on orders like over 75. So, shipping was like $15 unless I, um, I wanted to get these pants, but they were like 30. And by the time I paid for shipping, I'm like, might as well just get a couple things so that shipping is free. Um, so just compared to like Lululemon paying $100 for a pair of pants versus like $30, $25 because of the sale. And then I think my other top was like $25. That's so reasonable compared to Lululemon. Like I want to wear my crop top to the gym, but this is so cute too. This would look really good with like my white aloe yoga leggings. Oh, I'm just in love. I'm so in love. It hurts. What's up guys, sorry for the lack of intro and lack of outro also that you will see later on. So today was shoulder day and you can see just by the nice pump that I'm getting in my shoulders that these are a killer workout for me. I end up doing about five reps per arm so I end up doing 10 reps total in a set of these and I supersetted them with some lateral raises and like I've said before, the key to doing lateral raises is to bring 
your to bring the weights behind your back after each rep and not coming down to your side. That just kind of helps isolate your delts and your shoulders a little bit more than if you were just bringing them down um, to your sides. It also kind of helps keep you from using the momentum of coming down to your side. It forces your muscle into a position where it's harder to use momentum to get the weight up. So next I moved on to some easy bar um, front raises and when you do these again try not to jerk at the top I've got a little bit of a jerk going on to try to get the weight up I'm probably somewhere between 20 and 30 pounds but I'm using a 30 pound bar doing these um, I tend to lay on the low side in terms of weight and try very hard to focus on my form as opposed to how much weight I'm lifting next I moved on to some dumbbell press dumbbell shoulder press to a dumbbell shoulder press, goodness gracious. Um, just doing 15 pounds and focusing on my form rather than the weight that I'm getting up. And then moved on finally to some decline shoulder press. Again, lightweight, about 15 to 20 reps, keeping my form nice and steady. Hello, welcome to Starbucks. How may I help you? Hi, um, can I please have a grande skinny peppermint mocha? On nope, that's it. Okay, 530. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, can I have that made with coconut milk? Sure. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. She has them in there. Okay. So the reason I changed it at the last minute is because there's like four, I think there's four dollars and thirty cents or something on my Starbucks card. I didn't want to have to reload it. Four dollars and sixty cents. But if getting it with skim milk is gonna already make it more than five dollars, I'm like, I might as well get it made with coconut milk because it's gonna be more than what I have on here, so I'm gonna have to reload it anyway. That probably makes no sense, but anyway, that's why I am that's why I switched to last minute. But anyway. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Thank you. Oh wait, do you have one of these? No. You got a peppermint You get four more, you get a free ground new one. Ah, ah, thank you. So this is what the guy at Starbucks just gave me. I guess if I get five peppermint mochas, or no, yeah, four more, five total, I get a free one, a free grande one, which is funny because that's my drink. That's what I get anyway. Woo! I'll stop now. I think they would kill each other if I wasn't around. So I woke up with an enormous craving for an acai bowl. And yes, it's acai, um, A-C-A-I is probably the word that you've seen and you've probably wondered how to pronounce it your whole life but it's acai but anyway i woke up with a huge craving for one which is fine because it's a healthy thing to crave so i went i googled like a good place to get one in tampa and soho juice company came up so that's where i got mine from it was also the closest one to me um so yeah it was really good I still have like half of it left that I'll probably just nibble on like throughout the rest of the day until I am hungry for dinner. So that'll probably just take the place of my lunch. Um, I mean, it's, it's a huge amount of food. So, so yeah, did that, got some errands to run, and then I'm gonna go home and keep studying slash fill out um, a couple of applications at gyms for like before I get 